وشمر الأخلت في أدواري قال من لنفعه لحبه أخلت في دوائي عقد ألوية الألوية أعلى الرياء أحد الوائق في قومة لغير الخلق بل طلبا لنفع أو لحمده خلقه أو اتقاء اتقاء الضد أعظمه ما كان غسلة إلى ذلك ورأي العلى بيده ما لغتي منهم ما تطاه سلما ثم تما كان لخوف أول بعلم سخط من علوم البشر بعلم أن الخلق لو تغافرا عليك أو لك أخي ما قدرا إلا بإذنه وعنده الأمور وهو القادر البر الشكر وبشعور ضره فيكسب ذلك غضه ولا يذهب دواؤه العلم وسته العمل على الناس الدواء العمل وسورة الإخلاص في الإكثار منها ومن سيد الاستغفار لزمن قد من الرجاء من فاتواه أيما دواء أما الرياء بستر ذنب أو خلق فواجب كما ذكر بيان شمر قال المؤلف شمر معناها اجتهد اجتهد اذا اردت اذا شرعت في دواء عاقد الويه امراض القلوب من يحمل لواء امراض القلوب وهو الرياء اذا اردت ان تعالجه فشمر معناها اجتهد اجتهد اذا اردت ان تعالج يعني ترى تعالج مرض رئيس امراض القلوب من 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 يلبس عمامه امراض القلوب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so the sheikh said that the, the lines he's going over now are whoever wants to um, uh, deal with and eradicate the uh, leader of all of the diseases of the heart uh, then let them understand that they need to now strive to achieve that by the following. For example, a person who's going on a big journey, he's really going to prepare uh, provisions to be able to make that big journey. Whoever wants to get rid of these diseases, and especially the tough disease of this, is not going to be something easy. It's something you really need to prepare with a with a with a struggle and, and with real effort, with real exerted effort. Uh, just like a person who's going on a, on a trip, uh, he's really going to prepare all of those things that he needs for his provision. Uh, one of the destructive diseases of the heart is called riya, which is shirk al uh, the lesser associating partners with Allah. And riya, you could say, is, is, is showing off in good deeds, showing off in your worship. So that, uh, and now, and inshallah, he's going to. إيقاع القربة هو أن تفعل قربة لغير الله عبادة لغير الله ليس مباح أمرا عبادة كأن تتبرع أو تصلي أو تصوم أو تحج لغير الله. And that is that you seek other than Allah through a ritual worship like prayer, giving money in the way of Allah, performing Hajj, uh, doing those things, and then you're including in that. Uh, uh, to get closer to other than Allah through those acts of worship. Or it is to uh, do an action 
in which you are seeking a praise or another benefit from a people by doing those acts of worship. So there's an or fearing uh, doing an act of worship showing off because you fear some harm coming to you from people or you fear uh, 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 some harm or some uh, uh, people blaming you. So you're doing it because you fear censure of people and you do it because uh, you fear some harm. Allah subhanahu wa jalla in the kitab of the law says وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ وَعْبُدِ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينَ أَلَا لِلَّهِ الدِّينُ الْخَالِصُ فَاللَّهُ تَعَلَى غَنِيُّ عَنِ الشُّرَكَاء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded in the Quran and said that he did not command them except that they worship Allah alone, making religion solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily with Allah belongs uh, 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 basically a... Um, uh, with Allah should be a religion that you present pure... Uh, 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 here deen would be ibadah that Allah basically only accepts pure acts of uh, worship with ikhlas and sincerity. Riya has many different levels, some being worse than others. أعظمه ما كان يكون خلال القرى ما 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 كان وصلة إلى ذنب أعظم ما كان وصلة إلى ذنب كم كمن يبدي الورع يبدي الصلاة أو يريد يظهر للناس أنه عالم حتى يشعل بيده مشاريع الخير مشاريع اليتامى مشاريع المدارس مشاريع المدارس المساجد وهذا مرض الأئمة أنا لا أتكلم عن الحاضر يلبس الواحد ثوب الجميل والعمامة الجميلة ويحسن صوته ليجعل مديرا على مسجد رياء لأجل أن يجعل بيده مشارع الخير كأموال اليتامى وصدقات البقرة وإمامة المساجد وإدارة المراكز يفعل العبادات لأجل أن تجعل بأيدي ماذا هو أعظم أنواع الرياء حتى يأخذ أموال اليتامى يكون هو يتصرف فيها أموال اليتامى كمثل يكون وكيلا على يتيم وبعد ذلك هو يتصرف فيه أو يكون يعني مسؤول عن هيئة خيرية نات برافل أو مساجد أو مراكز هذه أمور دينية خطيرة جدا. So a person that does أعظم أعظمه ما كان وصلة إلى نمي بأن يأخذ الإنسان وظيفة لا يستحقها كمن يبدي الورع معنى يظهر الناس أنه ورع حتى يعطوه مسؤولية المساجد أو مسؤولية اليتامى أو مسؤولية المراكز أو مسؤولية الكوميونتي. The worst of these is the, what uh, comprises of the biggest sin, what it involves in, is that a person will outwardly show people uh, scrupulousness and their worship. They show people that they're extremely righteous and pious in order that they do that uh, to deceive people. So they're doing acts of worship like prayer and other things that the Sheikh mentioned in order that they are doing that to gain an ulterior motive. And the examples that Sheikh gave, for example, he says that people do this in order to become an Imam of a Masjid or that they are, uh, until that they have, a, uh, um, uh, they have a management position and until they do this in order to have, be in charge of uh, the wealth of, for example, orphans. They do this in order to gain a position uh, that uh, he's, he's doing those acts of worship to show off to people, look how righteous I am, give me that great position so that I can benefit. And Sheikh said, and this is also the disease that is occurring in our time. I'm not speaking about those that are in this gathering, but uh, there are people out there, they wear a very nice stove, a big turban, they make their voice very nice, they'll lead the prayer in order to gain some benefit from the people to become an imam or, or other things that they are uh, to become like a manager in charge of affairs of the people. May Allah guide the people that are in management positions. 
As for those in management, they, they eat the people's wealth. Uh, they basically use the people's wealth. There are people out there, as Sheikh said, that are uh, no, yeah, the, the, the leaders of the Jews and the Christians, they did this. Where, yeah, they're, they're scholars, they took the wealth of the people and they uh, used it for false, uh, 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 false usages and they wasted their wealth and they uh, kept people and banned them from the path and, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now there are people in communities. <laughs> You are, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned, that you will continue to follow those before you step by step and inch by inch basically until they go into, if one of them were to go into the uh, 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 lizard's hole, they would be, uh, you would follow right in, meaning that you will follow the people before. And then the, the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, are, are these the Jews and the Christians? He said, who else? Who else am I speaking about? Uh, who else am I speaking about? Of course, yes, I'm speaking about them, that you will follow them. And just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, that their scholars, as your Sheikh just said, he's tying that into that meaning. Just like they wasted the wealth of the people and barred people from the way of Allah, now Muslims have also doing the exact same thing. They're taking the people's wealth in these masajid and other positions of management, and instead of using it for that which benefits, they're keeping people away from the path of Allah, and they're, just, uh, they're wasting and uh, usurping their wealth and those things that are of no benefit to Muslims. <laughs> The first thing that it should occur in every single masjid is when it mentions that the, or any center, when it mentions that the dhikr of Allah should uh, be mentioned in the masajid, there's no greater dhikr except the teaching of the sacred law, uh, the, uh, spreading knowledge and sh uh, sharing that knowledge because without that you don't even know how to do a dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't even know how to recite the Quran or pray or anything else. This is why uh, knowledge must be what is prevalent in the communities and in masajid and uh, uh, those things. People are taking thousands of dollars for these positions sometimes and they don't have any money where they invite teachers and bring people to teach them and their children and the community sacred knowledge so that they can benefit and learn. They're driving very nice cars and they have these uh, positions amongst the people in the management of their communities. And then if, uh, uh, Sheikh is basically saying, why don't they come and tell us what they did with this money, what they did in their positions, what have you done to benefit Let's ask those same people that how much are you paying those people that are teaching you the essentials of this religion? How are you taking care of them? Are you taking care of them goodly and paying them correctly and what they deserve? They're, they're basically slaughtering uh, the, uh, the, the, the teachers, the people that are teaching sacred law. They're, they're keeping them like, uh, basically what Sheikh is saying is that they're slaughtering them, meaning they treat them with the worst treatment than they would anybody else. Now, 
تعطونا عشرة آلاف في شهر واحد والمعلم دين الله شهرا كاملا هذا كلام أنتم مفسدون في الأرض ولا يصلحون مفسدون في الأرض ولا يصلحون an imam that is teaching people sacred knowledge in the masajid Aqeedah, uh, Tahara, Siyam, Salah, Zakah All those things that matter that you're obligated to learn, people pay nothing But to bring somebody with a nice voice that he can sit in Taraweeh and recite the whole Quran for you for a single month You pay them ten thousand dollars when you would pay a teacher of sacred knowledge any money You're doing nothing but spreading corruption on the earth أعظمه ما كان وصلت أنتم تجمعون أموال الناس تجعلونها في بحر من الفساد في بحر من الفساد أنا لا أخذ وظيفة والحمد لله ما أخذ أي وظيفة لا أخذ دولارا والحمد لله no. You're collecting wealth and then the, throwing it out into the ocean of uh, corruption. You're corrupting matters. He said, I myself, I don't have any of these jobs and I don't take money for any of that thing. لا أخذ شيئا I don't take anything. لا أسألكم عليه أجرا. I don't ask for anything. لا أسألكم عليه أجرا وما أنا من المتكلفين. He said, I am not. I'm not of those that ask for anything. لكن عطول المعلمين ما. But he's telling you, not for himself, but he's saying, take care of your teachers and the people of knowledge and pay them what they deserve for their to be honored and respected. قال علي إنه لا عبد لمن إليه منه حرف يبدو فإن شاء باع وإن شاء استرى. قال علي رضي الله تعالى إني لا عبد لمن علمني كلمة واحدة. Sayyidina Ali, he said, I am the servant of the one who teaches me one harf. So if he wants, he can sell me. And if he wants, he can keep me. I am his servant. Why don't you take care of the one who's teaching you tahara and how to worship Allah? They're becoming your means and all that good. Why don't you take care of them when you're taking, you're giving uh, how many thousands and thousands of dollars for a person who's leading the prayer, who's uh, at times, uh, what Shaykh is saying, he's in Janaba. He, uh, he doesn't even have wudu. He doesn't even have wudu. And he said, go ask them about their tahara if they even know how to make tahara correctly. <laughs> You're corrupting the wealth of people. You, you are doing what the, uh, the, the rabbis and the priests before did with the wealth of the people and you're squandering it and wasting it. This is the awqaf, this is the trust and of the Muslim wealth. This is the trust of Muslim wealth that has been entrusted to you. And look what you are doing with that wealth. He said all people are concerned about is the outward manifestation of this, where they're building buildings. He said, who are you building the buildings for? Uh, for who is it for? Who's going to enter this place? يدخلها أصحاب الجنابات وأصحاب الحيض. The people will enter the mosque who are women who are under menstruation and men who are in janaba where they should have taken a ghusl that they don't know how janaba became a janaba upon them and how to correct that. They don't they don't even know how to purify themselves. Is this who you're building your masajid for? هذه ليست مساجد. This is not. هذه ليست مساجد. This is not مساجد. هذه كنائس ورب الكعبة والجلال. He said, this is a church by the Lord of the Kaaba. Imam Malik said that we look at things by their realities, not by their names. And if their reality indicates that they're like the churches, that's what their reality is. You call it a masjid if you want. The, حقيقة مرفه وليس مسجد. The Prophet says that when he left his masjid, he could, he, his blessed head was touched. In غرفة. reality, this is a small room. It's not even considered a masjid. This is what he left when he left this world. وراودت الجبال شم من ذهب عن نسيه فأراها جاءت الجبال تريد أن تكون ذهبا ماذا فعل بها؟ جاءت أموال الإسكندرية وجاءت أموال الشام ماذا فعل بها؟ He said the, mount, the mountain was turned into gold for him and offered for him and what did he do? The wealth of the different parts of the world came to him and what did he do? What did he do with the wealth Did he build like what became later of what the Muslims built in Turkey and Andalusia of those? When those wealth came to the Prophet did he build these big buildings of structures? Did he do that? No, he didn't. 
تعليم العلم إطعام الفقراء المساكين ما هي ضروريات الأمة He dealt with what was the absolute necessities of this ummah by feeding the poor people and taking care of the needy. And, and, and he sent out people of da'wah and people of knowledge to guide and help people. This is what he did with them. What did Sayyidina Umar do in his time? How, what did he pay the teachers of the children of this deen? How much did he give them? What did he give them? Go read the history of Sayyidina Umar and look what he did. You don't teach your wild, uh, you don't teach your children, you don't teach your women. Not, uh, nobody's teaching their children and their family, and you're not giving anything to the teachers. This is our state, but we don't know what Omar used to do. Why then are we collecting all this wealth? As he said, this is what destroyed people before, and this is what. They build these high big structures and they build these big Look buildings. Nice. Uh, this looks so nice. Is Islam. Look at Islam. He said, this is not Islam. This is not what this religion is about. This is, the, this is what the people before did that ended up eventually destroying them and leaving them. This is not, uh, he said, you know, oh Muslims, wake up from this. We ask Allah forgiveness <laughs> from you. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. Repent Astaghfirullah. Allah. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive us of your state and my state. لماذا تشعلون مساجد؟ مساجد لا فائدة مراكز أنا لا أحب المراكز ولا أحب المساجد لا أحبها والله. He said that he doesn't love أنا لا أحبها. The masajid and the centers now that because they're devoid of all this. لماذا تشمعون الجنب والحيض في المساجد؟ الناس لا يعرفون الحمد لله رب العالمين لا يصححون الفاتحة. They don't correct their fatiha. People don't know how to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen or what it means. Uh, what are we doing? Even their, uh, their pronunciation they don't correct. Uh, leave people to rather go to buy expensive cars and nice homes and go on vacations because the wealth that they'll spend in that is much better. أنا والله أنا أحب إلي أن أعطي مئة ألف دولار لواحد يفعل سياحة في أوروبا عن مسير في أمريكا لا يدرس في العلم والله مئة ألف دولار. He said, by Allah, I would rather spend a hundred thousand for someone to go on vacations to Europe than to spend it in the current mosques in America. لا يعلم في العلم. They they don't teach anybody knowledge. لما يفعل أنا لا أريد السمعة. Uh, we don't want uh, uh, a white This is showing off. Uh, we don't want to be people that are showing off, nor uh, to be heard of later. We don't do acts of worship on these things that we want it later to be announced about us what we achieved. Uh, the people come and they say, Dr. Sheikh Muhammad so and so, who gave a hundred thousand or this thousand to the masjid. This is what they are now. Uh, this is not a masjid, it's a mafsid. This is destroying our religion and the essence of the <laughs> Sayyidina Umar said, who deceives us in our religion, uh, has deceived us. Uh, he's deceived us, who deceived us in our religion. Mm. He said, the hadith does say that whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah, Allah builds him a house in paradise. But what does that masjid mean in the Sharia? من بناء الله سياسة. من بناء سياسة. He said rather it's whoever built for Allah 
a, a mosque of politics, basically. Ahli Masaib, siyasat. Whoever builds for Allah, politics and uh, uh, problems, uh, will, have, will they have a house in paradise to do that? A masjid that there's no knowledge taught is not a masjid. He said, by Allah, I would rather pay uh, money to a person that is teaching a child or al-Fatiha uh, um, uh, uh, to, to correct their Fatiha more than I would love to, to, to spend in the building a masjid. Because the Prophet Wasallam said that if Allah guides one person through you, it's better than the world and everything in it. So, uh, red camels. Mm. Uh, the, <laughs> if the world is better than the world, it's bigger than a masjid for you that if Allah guides <laughs> one person through you. One person, if Allah guides one person through you, it's better than the world, which is bigger than a masjid. It's better than the world and everything in it. So put priorities where they are meant to be placed. <laughs> Teach people the religion of Allah. <laughs> Teach people the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and teach them etiquette, teach them uh, tranquility and, and the correct adab of how to take from people knowledge and what the etiquette should be towards those whom you take knowledge from. والنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مر بحلقتين إحداهما تذكر الله تعالى وتقرأ القرآن الحديث صحيح والأخرى تعلم العلم فتجاوز الأولى وذهب إلى الحلقة التي تعلم العلم فقال ها على على خير كله على خير هؤلاء يدعون الله تعالى إن شاء أعطاهم وإن شاء منعهم واسمعوا هؤلاء الصحابة يعرفون الذكر ليسوا كما أنتم لا تذكرون لا تعرفون الذكر هؤلاء الصحابة يقرأون القرآن مع الوضوء ومع الغسل ومع شروطه وأركانه والهيبة والخضوع بعيد منكم بعيد تجاوز النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وجاء إلى حق قال هؤلاء خير هؤلاء الشاعة طاهم الشام وهؤلاء أنما بعثوا معلمة Listen to the hadith that's an authentic hadith. One time the Prophet ﷺ walked into his masjid and he saw two groups of people. He saw a group reciting the Quran. Uh, these, these are companions. Shaykh said, look, these are companions. They were doing dhikr. Not like how you do dhikr. They knew how to do dhikr. They were people who, uh, they, they recited Quran with wudu, with tajweed. They knew how to recite it. They knew what it meant with adab and magnification of Allah, with sakin and tranquility and the respect that is due to how you recite the Quran in a masjid. They were doing that. He passed this group up and he went and sat at the second group. And this was a gathering in which they were teaching knowledge. He said, both of these groups are on, on, on khair, on good. He said, as for the first group, this is what the Prophet is saying, that they're making dua and making dhikr if Allah wants he'll accept it if he doesn't he doesn't but they're on khair this is good but he went and sat with the people of knowledge and he said I was sent as a teacher I was not sent but as a teacher so he went to the gathering of knowledge acknowledging that this is the higher Shaykh Abdul Fattah Abu Ghudda, may Allah have mercy upon him and benefit us from through his barakah. He wrote a book called The Messenger as a Teacher. The Messenger is a Teacher. It's a book in Arabic. Al Mu'allim. No. The, the Prophet is a Teacher. Or in Surah Al Jum'ah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he is the one that sent a messenger from amongst them, reciting the books and purifying them and teaching them the book and the wisdom. And look at those things and you'll see. <laughs> the Prophet, الكتاب, he taught them the book. You see, this was his job. He taught them the book. Ta'aleem, teaching, spreading knowledge. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ya shiru la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubiru wa bihamdik ya shiru wa sallam wa sallam ala qaleel shiddan min amrad al-qulub wa lakin muqaddima inshallah. This was something very small. قليل 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 this was very, very small, and I can tell you it's very small. From the diseases of the heart, but inshallah, whatever we benefit from will be khair. Do we have one more session? Omid, we have one more?
Q&A and then we'll grab the last seat about the last seat. No, I'm grabbing it. Okay. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, inshallah, we'll be making asr in about five minutes, but afterwards, uh, everyone is requested to return. We'll have Q&A session, inshallah. And uh, as we mentioned, we will provide uh, papers and whatnot for the brothers and for the sisters to be able to add.